Hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? It's the one they call Top Diggity Dog. And today, what I'm going to help you do is get your vocals cleaned up and sounding crisp, clean, and ready to go. All right? Okay, first, before we start this, I'm because uh, I am going to give you all my tips, tricks, and uh, effects. But before we start this, let me tell you right now, you have to have an ear for music. If you don't have ear uh, ear for music, then you're lost. You're lost without a cost, all right? But if you have an ear for music, then, you know, uh, you, you should be able to comprehend everything that I tell you in this video. All right, so let's move on. All right, this track right here is uh, called Famous. It's by Little Hayes featuring yours truly, me, Top Diggity Dog. And uh, I'm going to use this. This is going to be my example track, and I'm going to show you uh, what to do. All right. So this is the final version right here. Where everything is done and finished and uh, cleaned up and ready to go. This is what it sounds like. So get a job, ain't this? You'll never be famous. You think you got it, you ain't got it. Look at me, Raymond. Keep on striving, everybody's trying, everybody's dying to be number one. What place did you come? Why did you win? Look at who won. Look at them hard, you win. Alright. So, all that sounds okay. It sounds great. But let me play it one more time without this one. Without the, without the instrumental. Yeah. So get a job, ain't this? You'll never be famous. You think you got it, you ain't got it. Look at me, Raymond. Keep on striving, everybody's trying, everybody's dying to be number one. What place did you come? Why didn't you win? Alright, that's how it sounds without uh, the beat. Now, the mic, he already told me beforehand, because we was working on the song, he already told me beforehand, he was like, man, my mic is not that great, it's not that good. And he recently upgraded, so big ups to you, Hayes, big ups to you. But, uh, you know, I told him, I was like, send it to me anyway, I'm going to see what I can do with it, and uh, we're going to get this popping, all right? And that's what he did. So, let me show you what I've done with his verse. Uh, this right here is his, is this verse, you know, these verse really, uh, pretty much. So, let me show you how everything went down. So... Let me click on this track. All right. This is how it sounded in the beginning. So get a job, ain't this? you never be famous. You think you got it, you ain't got it. Look at me, Raymond. Keep on striving. Everybody's trying. Everybody's dying to be number one. All right. Right off the bat, you should hear this, this noise should stand out. Uh, this noise in the background sound like some type of white noise or something in the background going and eh. and um, you never want something to be in the background that's getting a more more of a highlight than the actual artist lyrics you know you don't want that so let's hear it one more time so you since you know what to uh, listen for and then we're gonna go ahead and fix it so get a job, ain't this? You'll never be famous. You think you got it, you ain't got it. Look at me, Raymond. Keep on striving. All right, you heard what I'm talking about? All right, now what I do, it seems like he cleaned this up. You know, he uh, silenced some, uh, you know, whatever he didn't use. And that's always a good thing, you know, less work for me. But usually when it is stuff there, all you have to do is highlight that. And turn it down using this volume right here. Just turn it down. Or, better yet, you can highlight it. And you can come up to effects. I think it's, wait a minute. Edit. Uh, it's a silent somewhere that I'm not seeing right now. Uh, where is that silence? Where, bear with me, bear with me. Might be favorites. I don't use it, so... I don't use. It. I usually turn it down, but it is a silence in somewhere in here, and I just I'm just not seeing it. But you can silence it from uh, using one of these tabs up here if you can find it. Good luck, but you probably can find it. But I usually just use this knob and turn everything down. All right. Now, as for stuff like this that is left on, let me see when his verse start. So, all right. This first word is right here. So what I will do, I will highlight this, come up to effects, noise reduction, capture that noise print. Okay, go back to effects, go back to noise reduction, and 
this time select noise reduction process and then it's already set because we just uh, um, customized that noise print and then I hit apply okay you see how that's gone that's done it's got you know it's not there anymore and I do the same thing I click on I zoom out make sure I have the whole track not just a portion but I have the whole track and then I do the same thing apply okay what that's gonna do is that's gonna uh, clean up all that extra uh, noise that was in that background throughout that verse now you might hear it just a tad but it's not gonna be as noticeable it's not gonna be over talking the uh, the lyrics all right so we're gonna go back into it and you'll be able to hear what I'm talking about now you tell me if you can hear that uh, background noise anymore so get a job, ain't this? You'll never be famous. You think you got it? You ain't got it. Look at me, Raymond. Keep on striving. So you don't hear that that background anymore. You don't hear that. You don't hear that anymore. So that's what you want to hear. You want the lyrics to be heard and not the background vocal. Okay. Now it looked like he have a uh, some extra right here. So what I told you I do, I go right there, turn that bad boy down. And we're good we're good for the background noise now what I start doing I start really editing the vocal I highlight the vocal go to effects amplitude compression dynamic process and now you have to have a ear for music if you don't have an ear for music like I said and, I, and I'm gonna keep saying this you're lost if you know what you your vocal should sound like or what you want the person's vocal to sound like the end product then you will be able to go through these presets and play them because uh, they do have where you can preview them and you would know okay alright alright that sounds bad that sounds bad oh wait a minute hold on that sounds good alright and for his vocal his vocal is more of a rock vocal uh, for for this right here but sometimes I use rap presence these are the these are like the only two I go back and forth everything else don't really sound too good for vocals and then I click apply I come back up to effects and I go filter and EQ go 20 bands and I I think this is my own preset so if you have to pause the video stop the video I would suggest you to uh, do that and copy all these settings alright you got them you're good alright then now to save that preset what you want to do you want to come right here and then type in anything you want and then click OK but I already have it so I have to and then hit apply alright okay moving on now I come back up to effects and I go to uh, sometimes I go to studio reverb it depends now like I said it's all about having an ear for uh, the music and knowing what you're trying to do for that particular song but sometimes for different songs I come up and I put a mastering reverb on that song and uh, to give it a certain type of effect but for this one it don't need it and, and plus his microphone it don't need it it's gonna add extra stuff that we want we don't want extra noise that we don't want so the last thing that I put on his verse his vocal is I went to special and I went mastering that's how to really start opening up vocals all right and then I was just listening so get a job. I was just listening I was going down the presets for mastering the main ones that I use is subtle, subtle uh, clarity stereo to mono make room for vocals and though that's really the main those are the main ones that I really uh, use but depending on mics like me for my my microphone which is more up to date I know what I can use I know okay my microphone is more of a, su a subtle clarity but when I'm doing some editing somebody else's vocals and they're using a different mic then I really gotta listen okay and try to uh, and sometimes it's not even in the presets you gotta know like this one right here you're gonna hear him say uh, some stuff that starts with S's and you know a lot of slurs and stuff like that that's the exciter let me tell you let me show you what I mean I'm gonna play with this knob and while his verse is going on you'll be able to know what I mean famous you never be famous you think you got it you ain't got it look at me Raymond keep on striving everybody's trying everybody's dying to be number one what place did you come why didn't you win look at who won look at them hard you really ain't shit just the little way 
you know, for his mic right there alone, I keep it around 40, you know, maybe 50, but I, I think 40 is pretty good for that. And, uh, but I do want to make sure, because I think his need to be about stereo to monitor, uh, mono or make room for vocals and put that 40, about 42 it works. Hit apply and then go back and we should be good on uh, on everything. 